Hey, this is Mac with Momentum. Today we're going to talk about how to claim your free Google Ads promo credit. Typically, whenever you sign up for a new Google My Business account, uh, Google will send you a little mailer after you verify with a credit in the mail with a promo code on it. And I'm going to walk you through how you actually set up and claim this promo credit from Google Ads. It's sort of their way to get you in the door to start spending money with the Google advertising platform. So if you haven't yet, make sure you hit that like, share, comment, and subscribe button. Turn on the bell for post notifications if you want to learn more about digital marketing, SEO, Google, and things like that that we talk about every single week. Now let's jump into it. Um, first thing you're going to want to do is have a Google account. So if you set up a Google My Business account, which you can do by just going on Google, typing in Google My Business, uh, which would be the URL business.google.com. I'm sorry, my computer is a little slow here. So once you go to Google My Business, you'll sign in, create the free account. They'll send you a postcard in the mail to verify your new uh, location-based business. And after you get that, you should get the promo credit in the mail. Um, so it'll have your business name, address, you open it up. And typically they give you around $150 in ad credit. Um, so typically you have to spend a certain amount to get that credit. So Google My Business, sign in, log in. And within that account, let's see if we can specifically do it from here. That would make things nice and easy. Uh, you want to find the account that you set it up for. Uh, we're going to be using Matterport Real Estate Tours. This is sort of like a synonymous business with our Momentum 360 company. Within here, uh, you'll see on the dashboard, you see home, which is the dashboard. There's a button that says create ad. And once you log in, it's going to let you create a new Google Ads account. So we're going to create a new account and you're just going to walk through the settings and you do have to input billing. So that means you need to add a credit card or debit card to this account to claim and verify um, your new Google Ads billing and you're going to have to spend a certain amount and then they're going to credit you. All right. Now while setting this up, we're going to choose, you know, what's our goal? We want to get more phone calls as a local service business. You know, we want to get phone calls and then it's going to walk you through the campaign types and, you know, your targeting and bidding and settings and things like that. Then it's going to bring you to the billing section. If you want to use the Google My Business account, make sure you're using the right one. Go to next. And then on this next screen, uh, you know, we're just going to walk through these steps. And we want to use the Google My Business profile in this case, just because we don't have a website that's truly built out for this company yet. It's not finished. So you can actually run ads directly to your location-based business, which is really nice. It'll show your Google My Business account just like this on mobile and uh, just like this on desktop. Um, I'm not sure why it's using that image though. Uh, we're going to go to next and here it should take us through like setting up and writing the ad. So I'm going to pause this as I write this out. Okay, we're going to approve that ad, go to the next screen, see what we get to next. So you can add some like keyword themes with, uh, these are called like smart ads or local ads. Can't really pick exact keywords like you can with the uh, normal Google Ads dashboard. So we're going to choose a couple keywords. All right, we're going to hit next here. Probably go through the settings. Can choose a you know a radius around your business. Um, for the local ads, you get to choose like a smaller radius. Let's do a small radius of less than ten miles. Then you can choose your budget. You know, let's just go with the recommended amount here, so we can skip through this. Get to review your campaign. All this good stuff. Let's go to next. 
promo code right here. So the promo code, I think it's what, 15, maybe 14 digits long here. Now, this doesn't always work. So just be cognizant. You might have to, uh, and this is a one-time code. You can't reuse this. And then you want to use, you know, what billing profile, you know, we've got this billing profile, which has a credit card link to it. See if it takes it. If not, you might have to create a, an account from scratch. Offer successfully applied. Awesome. We will match your spend for the first 31 days up to $150. So basically, you know, let's say you run uh, $15 a day for 10 days, you know, it's $150. They're going to match that. So, you know, just be cautious, keep your, your billing sort of tracked so you know whenever you've spent that amount if you don't want to keep spending money after that. Submit that here and you want to accept and continue their settings. The promo was applied and your ad is now created in your account, is now created and you can explore your campaign in your, your account. Uh, your account will have a specific customer ID number here on the top right. You can share that with an agency or, or a marketer. And when you log in, here's sort of the dashboard for this account, this campaign. You can look through the settings here, change your budget, some of your keywords, your ads, all that good stuff. Uh, so that's about it. That's how you claim your free Google Ads credit uh, from the promo mailer. Pretty quick and easy process. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave a comment below or shoot us an email or a phone call. Do make sure to subscribe, share this video if you uh, know somebody that needs help with Google Ads or Google in general. Uh, my name is Mac with Momentum. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned, subscribe, turn on the bell for post notifications, and we'll see you next time with another Momentum Monday video.